Hello guys, this time I'll discuss to you how to expand binomials and how to solve their coefficients using a combination apart from using uh, the Pascal's triangle. Okay? So for the Pascal's triangle, you can use that, just create one triangle, so you start with one, okay? and then you go down one and one on each side. So the first one is uh, uh, the binomial raised to zero. That is equal to 1. Binomial raised to 1, you have a first term and a second term. Binomial raised to 2, 1, 2, and 1. Binomial raised to 3, you go down and just uh, add the numbers above them. Okay, so that's the idea for the Pascal's triangle. But for today, we're going to use combination, the concept of combination to expand binomials. Okay, the numbers, they will be useful. Okay, so first number, we have the 3. Okay, the three here goes is what you call the first term of the binomial. Okay, so for the three, you just copy the three. So as you can see, you have the three here. Another one, another one, three again, another three, three again, another another three, and then three again. Okay. Next one, the second term, x over two. Okay, so we have the first term three, the second term x. So we get the second term, we just write it beside the first term. So x over 2, x over 2, x over 2, x over 2, and so on. Okay, so right now uh, we have two numbers, I mean two terms. The first term, 3, the second term, x over 2. So we were able to write that. Okay, next one. We have the exponent 7. Okay, so the rule is for the first term, you will start with the value of n. That means the highest number, okay? Or the exponent, the highest exponent, which is seven, okay? Now, as you move on, you decrease the value. So, start with seven, decrease by one uh, integer per term as you uh, move, okay? So, three raised to seven, or is six, five, four, three, two, one and zero. Okay, so repeat. So you have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so it's uh, decreasing. So, second one uh, for the exponent of the second term, okay, we'll start with the lowest, which is zero, and we, re we increase by one integer, okay as you move on. Okay, so we'll start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, again, for the first term, we start with 7, the highest exponent. For the second term, we start with 0, okay, lowest exponent. So we have 7, 0, 6, 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, 2, 5, 1, 6, 0, 7. Okay, another way to check this is if you add the exponents, they must always be equal to 7. Okay, 7 plus 0, 7. 6 plus 1, 7. 5 plus 2, 7. 4 plus 3, 7. 3 plus 4, 7. 7, 7, and 7. If it's more than or less than 7, then something is wrong. Okay, the next one. The next one is the coefficient of those two terms. So, the number right here. Okay, so uh, we can get this number by combination, by applying the concept of combination. So we'll start with n. 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, and 7. Okay, so for the first one, 7 selecting 0. 7 select 0. So that is the coefficient of the first term. Uh, that is 1, just 1. Okay, the second one. We increase as we move on. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Another way to uh, look at this is uh, your R here, okay, the number of selection should always be equal to the exponent of the second term. Okay. 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 3, and 3, 4, and 4, 
five and five, six and six, seven and seven, because they are um, increasing at the same time. Okay. And then the next step is of course to simplify. So you can get your calculator and start simplifying. Okay. Remember that this is seven combination zero, seven combination one, seven combination two, three combination three, and um, seven combination three, sorry, seven combination four and so on. And then simplify.